to my darling wife. I hope this letter finds you well. And I hope that this bird can fly through the battalions waiting outside the keep. It has been 112 days since the siege. And this eve I feel like will be the last chance I get to tell you. That unfortunately, my love, you're never going to be able to see me again. The doors are barred, but rotten. And shipped. Our soldiers are hungry and tired and demoralized. We sent word for reinforcements, but no word has come back. I think. They have all chosen to forsake us and let us fall with this castle. It's unfortunate, but that's the way of life as a soldier, isn't it? I hope you'll be able to train our daughter well. You and I, we're both fighters. She'll grow up to be big and strong. Just like her mother. The sky remains black from the smoke and the ashes. But sometimes, the embers that rise into the air make it look like a beautiful, peaceful starlit sky. With orange beams of light. Reminds me of the time we first met. You out in the forest. Where some would want to play in the creek sing, or dance, you were, <laughs> you were dancing with an axe, swinging it about, hacking into wood, and cleaving it in two. You frightened me as much as I frightened you the first time I snuck up on you. It's funny in this room right now. There's this little seal. You know the ones you stamp letters with. Unfortunately, I don't have any wax here to use it, but it looks just like your handwriting. The beautiful cursive. Everything in this room reminds me of you. This old creaky chair that I would sit on. You would massage my tired, aching shoulders after a hard day's work. This paper I'm writing on. The time you used to write poetry. The soft candlelight from when we used to make love. And the peace. My God, my darling. 
from all the screaming I can hear on the outside, and the orders and the threats. And I shut all the windows and doors in this room. It just feels like peace. Like I'm holding you in my arms. And kissing your forehead. And brushing my beard against your cheek. I know it's not good for a soldier to reminisce about his life at home while he's on the battlefield. I've been training soldiers for years now. And I feel like I've been neglecting the one thing that made my life worthwhile. You. And our daughter. My family. I want you to know, although I showed you some portion of my love, that I wish I could have done 10,000 times better. Every day, I would have held your hand, looked into your eyes and kissed you goodbye when I went off to work. I would have savoured the taste of your cooking and cherished every touch we ever had with each other. Now that the end is near, nothing has been clearer in my mind, my love, that all of this The reason why I wanted to build an army like this, full of proud soldiers, skillful, gallant, full of valor, all of this was for you. can protect you, even though you never needed protecting. Something as precious and beautiful as you in this world. You are always worth protecting, my darling. And I feel like that's the one thing we all forget when we're on the battlefield. Again, it's not good to reminisce about your home life while you're on the battlefield, but I feel like at times like these, when it's our final stand, When it's us against the world, the only thing to give us a chance of standing and fighting and dying like proud soldiers is to remember what we fight for. The screams are getting louder. I think I have to stop writing here, my love. It 
if there's one thing I regret in this life, it's not being able to hold your hand one last time. I have to go now. With love. From the bottom of my heart and soul. Your dear husband. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I spent a lot of time editing this one, and honestly, I had a blast doing it. So um, please let me know if uh, you guys have any comments or criticisms about it. It's, uh, I don't know. I kind of like this style, but I also want it to be relaxing and entertaining for all of you. So um, I hope I can provide that for you. Um, I think this is my fourth video I'm putting out, and honestly, like, genuinely, I'm in love with, like, creating this content. It's, um, you know, I said before, it's been a passion of mine for years, and I've only now just been getting into it, but, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching, and, uh, if you're not already in our Discord server, I'd love it if you came to see us, um, we're on there quite regularly, like, me and a whole bunch of other voice actors. Um, that's basically it. If you like to like, subscribe, share it, comment. What else do I say? What else do I say? <laughs> um, love you guys. Hope you're doing well. See ya.